Leveling up is finally down in black and white. The white paper, the government's plan for its flagship policy is here, but what is it? Well, we've got to go back a bit for that. No one really seems to say Northern Powerhouse anymore. It's the phrase that came before levelling up. George Osborne before the 2015 election. It was a promise to the North that won them a majority and got them out of a coalition. It was the same sort of promises that were repeated during the 2019 general election campaign, levelling up, trying to even out that north-south divide. This time it helped the Conservatives win an increased majority, with victories that were previously unheard of here. 2019 was a reboot of a policy that Theresa May seemed to back away from. The northern powerhouse was dominated by Brexit. By 2020, devolution deals had been done with South and West Yorkshire. New mayors unlocking money and extra power to decide stuff up here. But after rail promises were delayed, then cancelled in 2021, the government's got to decide what levelling up means. Big projects will probably be part of it, but the fundamentals like life expectancy, jobs, healthcare are important to the voters that cross the Conservative box for the first time here. Ten years after the Northern Powerhouse first became a thing, there is another general election. The government will be tested on whether it's managed to level up or not. <laughs>